some self-improvement. This will be great. In today's world of information and the exchange of information, your reputation can get damaged very quickly. <laughs> Especially in today's Live on information purpose. world, it's really easy to get a reputation that you don't really like. There are things you can do that absolutely work. In fact, I've got ten of them for you today. Let's bring this up as a top ten, and we'll do a little countdown. Starting with number ten, stop being a jerk. Stop being now, a jerk. I throw that out there in kind of harsh language. Let's be open to the fact that the way we act sometimes gets us into trouble. And it doesn't mean you are a jerk. It means that you've shown up as a jerk at certain times. You knock it off. That's what's causing the bad reputation to start with. Now, I know that it's not always that way. That there's a lot of really good stuff that you want to come through instead. Unfortunately, people notice the things that we do that are jerkly. And so that's how those reputations get started. Make sure that you're curtailing that kind of behavior if that's what started it and fueled it. Let's move up to number nine. Care about how you impact people. You do Care. have an impact on other people. Care. And I've seen that a lot of times a bad reputation just explodes and takes wow. off. I never thought care. of that. How other people feel Care about, about other you. people. Now, at another level, what other people think about you is none of your business. And I don't want that to drive every aspect of your behavior. It is important to at least care enough to understand that you do have an impact on other people and that you care what that impact is. That's why it's number nine. Let's go up to number eight. Take immediate action. As soon as you realize that your reputation is not what you want it to be, take some action. I think this is especially true in today's online world. And I'm not an expert in all the cyber aspects of your relationship, but there are people who can help you with that. And if you notice that it's hurting you to have this reputation out there that's less than favorable, do something and do it sooner than later. Take immediate action. Number seven. This probably ties into number one, actually. Apologize appropriately for any misbehavior. If you have messed up, if you have been a jerk at some point, make an appropriate apology. And really, not the kind that my kids used to do when I said, you need to apologize to your brother. I'm sorry, gosh. No. Appropriate genuine, authentic, let's get sincere about this. Because if you actually hurt someone, how do you feel about that? It's not good, is it? So be sincere, make an appropriate apology. When you know that it would be appropriate to do so. Along with the apology, let's add a number six here. Make amends when you can. Sometimes you hurt people in a way that you can't unhurt. Are you the kind of person that never makes a mistake? Sometimes you hurt people in a way that you can't unhurt them. Wrong? Pick something that allows you to create this new reputation that you are going to do everything you can to make correct. guest on my podcast years ago. His name is Frank Abagnale. Some of you will recognize his name because he was the feature of a movie called Catch Me If You Can. And you might Leonardo DiCaprio played that. The most notorious con man of our time. But until he was really young, making amends, Frank has spent the last 35 years, probably more than that, Sounds like me. To apply the knowledge that got him into trouble in the first place to create a better world, a safer world, a world where there is less fraud and deception. And my hat goes off to Frank and to other people who have made the effort 
to make appropriate amends, even if you can't make them to the person that you hurt, to, to better our society. Let's go to number five on the list. Be patient. It takes a while to change your reputation. Unfortunately, negative things usually grab more traction than positive so when it comes to your reputation. If there have been a few things that have tarnished it a bit, it's going to take a while to work through that in a way that people start to see you differently. And unfortunately, some people are just going to hang on to the negativity. Don't be too tipped over by that. But practice patience so that you don't get unrealistic expectations about, well, by now people should have a different opinion of you. Yeah, they might not yet. So be patient. Moving up to number four. Be humble and open to feedback and input from others. Humility is Slay me. Slay me. Slay me. I'm ready for Oprah. More like Maury or... Dr. Phil! Slay me! I love the way that Katherine Schultz summarized this in her TED Talk on being wrong. She said, how does it feel to be wrong? And the input she got from her audience was, oh, it's awful, it's terrible, we hate it. She corrected them. No, you're describing what it feels like to find out that you're wrong. How does it feel to be wrong? It feels just like being right until you find out otherwise. Sometimes we want to hang on to that being right. Remember, it's about what's right, not who's right. Moving up to number three on our list, this is obvious. Practice positive behavior. I use the word practice on purpose. Especially if you're not used to being positive. You've probably got a reputation for being negative in that case. No, I don't. Practice Never negative. Being positive implies that it's not going to be completely easy at first. Oh, I can't do it. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. language. It takes a while to get comfortable with this whole new thing that you're 21 years. Similar here. Practicing positive behavior sometimes feels awkward or unnatural at first. Keep practicing. I suck. I suck. Hi, I suck. I suck. Get a coach. Accountability partner. Somebody that can help me tell people how much I suck, and I'm sorry. Partially because everything that you no, see no. Like is me. within no, I have a better reputation. your own mind and within your own skin. It, it's like you're inside of a box. And your whole experience is projected on the inside of this box. It's all you know. You can get out of the box. And there are instructions yeah. for getting out of your box. But they're printed on the outside of your box. Oh, no! You really want a coach or an accountability partner that can help to read the instructions to you and give you loving feedback. <laughs> Consistency that will finally convince other people to see you differently. I've changed. I'm a better person now. <laughs> I've changed. I'm a better person now. I hope that you're finding these videos helpful. <laughs> I've changed. I'm a better person now. I'm glad I'm a better person now. I'm glad I'm Oh, God, I'm going to